Newly installed body scanners greeted students at Huntersville High School for the first time today. Hopewell High is one of seven schools piloting these scanners before CMS installs them in every high school. Now you'll recall that this idea was sparked as a record number of guns have been found on CMS campuses this year. And new at five, WCNC Charlotte's Shamaria Morrison shares how this is just one of many steps that CMS is trying to take to curb violence. CMS has spent $1.6 million on body scanners equipment for the seven high schools around the district. The district has previously told us they chose these schools based on, quote, who had the highest number of serious safety incidents this school year. Hopewell High School is one of them and a part of board member Rhonda Cheek's district. And our goal is for them to have the best academic experience and to soar academically and to have great outcomes, but be safe. And we've had situations this year where kids were not safe. Um, when there's guns falling out of somebody's pants, that is not a safe experience. A student I spoke with says before the scanners, it would take her five to 10 minutes to get to class. You have to go through one door in and out, and that's the only door for certain areas. And it took me about like 20 minutes to get to school. And I got there at a reasonable time. This is what body scanners look like in some CMS schools. You have to take your computer and your binders out. And sometimes if you have something like, like extra metal, metal in your bag and you don't know about it, you have to go to the side and they'll check everything, which is, it'll take time, it'll take time out of your day. Some holdups were expected on the first day and the purpose of the pilot program is to work out the kinks before CMS starts introducing body scanners at all high schools. I wanna make sure that kids, if we do this, if it's efficient and it doesn't interrupt the school day and it doesn't seem really any different than coming into a Panthers game, I don't feel punished going to see the Panthers or a college football game. 